Hey everybody, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And we're going over a new fun deck today. And it's uh, it's technically not cluster, but there's only one card that makes it not cluster and I just wanted to do it because it's funny. Mm -hmm. And we'll go over that. But before we get into it guys, we just remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes an extra dollar to give us some love and support. We greatly appreciate it and the link will be down below. And also, we did just release a Force of Will Grimoire, our app that we have for the Force of Will deck builder. And it's really simple to use, it's really nice. That's what we've been doing all of our decks on to show yeah. everything and make everything. And it, just go check it out, see what you like. Yeah, it's easy to make a deck and share it on email and get it up and so we can actually look at it and everything. And as always, to announce it's because of our Patreon that we were able to put the money back into the community of, you know. Uh, so we thank you for that. Yep. With that, we'll delve into the deck. More dots, more dots. And for those that played WoW, you know about it. That's where we're at. We're, we're shooting for people a lot with little dots. Yep. <laughs> so our, our ruler we're using is Reflect and Refrain. So we're playing red, blue, and it's gonna be pretty, pretty wild, but it's gonna be great. So it's got Stranger 10 rule and Energize red and a blue. As the first turn starts, you may invert this card and you gain passion if you're on Reflect side. And whenever a fire regalia enters the field under your control, choose one. If the regalia has changed the heart, you choose up to two. And then you can produce a red, or this card deals 600 damage to target player or J resonator, or destroy target damage resonator. And if you're on refrain side, you gain calmness. And when a water regalia enters the field, you can either choose one or choose two if it's changed the heart. And you can produce a blue, rest target entity, or draw a card. So. Either side does a whole lot of control. Like this deck is very much control deck and yeah. take your time, but you're gonna get there over it. And it's it's pretty fun. It's pretty interesting to see what you can do with the, with these two dudes. Uh, so the strangers we got are mostly all red because we need to deal damage. Yeah. And the first guy we have is Ushua, the flame swordsman. He has three red and one for a 1717. And he enters, he deals 17 damage or 1700 damage to target resonator. If that dude would die, whatever damage is left hits the player. So we'll just obviously play this guy. Yeah. Every stranger. Every yeah, stranger he's just super have. strong. Yeah. Uh, next is Regulus, the king of volcano. He has two red and one for a 10-10 swiftness beast. And whenever he has dealt damage, it deals that much damage to your opponent. Yeah. So he just gets to be like, hey, cool, take damage. One of my favorite strangers. I put some in that corner real quick. Oh yeah. Uh, red wizard is in here for one card, and we'll get over it. He's kind of the linchpin, not red wizard, but the other card. Um, but it's one red for a 6-6, six, six, enter. This card deals 600 damage to each resonator your opponent controls. So it just kind of helps you wipe the board. Uh, this is the new guy. Hino Kagusurushino Mikoto. <laughs> the flaming god of fire, or <laughs> yeah, whatever he's, face. He's pretty angry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he has four red and one for a 20-20. Enter, this card deals 1,000 damage to your opponent and each J resonator they control. So you get to be like, hey, cool, take some free damage. Yeah. And then last, we have the blue wizard for the destroyed energy abilities, because that's what it's for. Yeah. Blue quick cast 6-6, six, six, uh, enter, cancel target automatic ability of a resonator. Sim simple as that. All right, of course, uh, our first resonator is Yudrasil, the spirit of the world tree. So it costs one uh, colorless, so any mana you would like. So enter, search your deck for a regalia that shares that attribute. With the will you paid to play this card, reveal it and then put it in your hand and shuffle your deck. And then tap, produce one will of any attribute, spin this will only to play Regalia, which is pretty cheap, awesome, and quick. Yeah, I highly undervalued that card as being good, and I was wrong. That card is actually extremely good since I've been playing with it. Oh yeah. Uh, next is Spirit of Passion. It is one red for a 4-4 four, four with Swiftness. Enters, if you have Passion, you put two 1-1 counters on this, and you can remove two 1-1 one, one, one counters from this card, deal 600 damage to target J Resonator. Nice. So it's a 6-6 six, six for one that has swiftness and you can just remove counters to be like, hey, cool, that thing dies. Yeah. Awesome. And next one is Scheherazard. It's a blue and a red 7-7. Seven, seven. So it has barrier chance, so it can't really be killed by the spells. As long as your rulers reflect or refrain, you can gain passion and calmness together at the same time. So enter, put a story counter on this card. If this card was awakened, put five of it instead. Remove a story counter from this card. Look at the top card, or look at a card from your stranger deck at random. You may put it into play. Oh, uh, by paying its cost. So once you have mana up, you just play a, pretty much a free stranger. Awakening though, rest or recovered regalia you control. So that's simple enough. Yeah. That's simple enough to get five chances to play your, your strangers. Yeah. yeah, you just get to play free strangers. It's pretty nice. You're just like, cool, stranger. Yep. 
Uh, next is Keeper of the Past Earther. It is a red and two for an 8-8. And whenever it enters the field, you may remove up to two cards in your graveyard from the game. If you do, this deals 200 damage multiplied by the combined cost of those cards to target J Resonator. And then continue, like the, uh, if there's at least 10 or more cards in your removed area, it gets plus three, plus three in target attack. So yeah. precision. And you're like, cool, I'm gonna kill that thing because I can. Now, I guess the linchpin of the deck is Genshi Tension. It's a blue and a red, one, eight, eight. It's a high god. So enter, gain a dragon emblem or a dragon, uh, red or a dragon emblem blue. And as uh, if we don't have a uh, few shy, so we can't get both. But as long as you control a dragon emblem red, this card gains, if a fire source would deal damage, it deals that much plus 400 instead. So that's where, like, that's basically what you're doing every time. Mm -hmm. He has the other one that says uh, if you have the blue one, then the, at the end of the turn you draw a card. So if you play another one, then you might as well just go ahead and do that. Yeah, but your main one you're going to want to pick is to deal four extra damage because all of your silly spells, all of your strangers do way more damage that way too. Yeah. Uh, next is Athena, Titan of Revenge. She is two red and one for a 7-7 seven, seven swiftness. Whenever damage is dealt to you, put two more counters on this card and you can pay one red. And she does 100 damage to each player. So with Genshi Attention, it's kind of dangerous because you can pay one to deal five to both of you. But, but it makes it be like one man to take five. Yeah, and if you're like Athena, or another, another wait, no. Oh my god, my bay. I can't even remember her name. But basically, <laughs> if your life total is higher than your opponent's and you can just machine gun them to death, yeah. just do it. Then you're winning. You're yeah. winning, exactly. All right, uh, first spell, of course, we have Refrain's Getting Out. It's one blue. Quick cast. If you have calmness, rest two target non-magic stone entities, then don't recover uh, during the controller's next recovery phase. Invert the ruler. So this helps you if you need to stop a dude and their regalia from doing anything crazy special. Yeah, early game, this card is insane just because you're like, tap that dude and tap your regalia for turn one or turn two when you need it. Yeah, yeah. And you don't get those. That's what makes that card so nuts. Cause we were just like, hey, no, don't. Yeah, don't ramp up, please. Uh, next is Reflex Rushing In. It is one red, and if you have passion, you remove the top two cards of your deck from the game. You may play them until the end of your opponent's next turn. Invert your ruler. So it's just essentially free card advantage. Yeah. Because you just get to remove them, and most of your spells will have quick cast. So you're like, cool, let's do this into your turn. It's really worth it just to have two extra cards for one, one, man, one will. All right. Also, the linchpin of the deck I feel is Magic Arrow. It's one red. Quick cast, this card deals 100 damage to target player or J Resonator. Put this card back in its owner's hand as it resolves. So with Genshi Tension, you're just like, what, five, 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 five? Yeah, five. with Tension, you're just like, hey, cool, you pay one, take five. Pay one, take five. Because this always goes back to your hands. So you're like, I don't care, take yeah. one. And when you're playing a control deck, you're playing mostly spells on their turn. So yeah. you just hold up, okay, end of your turn. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> yeah. Take it. Uh, next is Reflex Summoning. It is two red. If you have Passion, you can pay a red less to play this. And you put an 8-4 <clears throat> Beast Resonator with Enter. This card deals damage equal to its attack to target Resonator. And then if you have Passion, you in, you invert your ruler. So it essentially makes an 8-4 that can shoot something for 8 or 12 if you have Genshi in play. And so you're just like, cool, that dude dies. Yeah, exactly. And I have a big dude. Uh, of course, we have to get to the Regalia. It's a change of the heart. It's a blue and a red. <coughs> Mythic, of course. Tap, produce two wheels in com any combination of colors of red or blue. Spin this only to play Mage Arts, so we have all the Mage Arts. Tap, produce a red or blue, just in general. If you have Passion or Calmness, you may invert your ruler. So you can still technically ramp with this card for anything else that you need to play. Yeah, which is nice. and it allows you to force which sides you want, whether you want Passion or Calmness. Yeah. Uh, next is the Butterfly Effect. It is a red and a blue quick cast. If you have Passion, this card gains, this card deals 800 damage to target Resonator your opponent controls chosen at random. Okay. And if this says, if you have Calmness, then return target non-magic stone, non-J ruler entity to its owner's hand, draw a card. So you go top down, so you're always going to shoot something for eight first. And again, if you have Genshi, you shoot for 12. Yep. You're like two mana, kill that thing. And then if you have Shaharazad, you get to do both. Yeah. So it's pretty good. The next one, of course, is Blaze Tornado. It's a two and a one. This card deals 1400 damage, divided as you choose to any number of target J resonators. And then of course, if I get it right, depending on what you... So if you target four things, that trigger of Genshi Tension does 400 each to each one, correct? Because it's a different source of damage. So yeah. 
Yeah, this dude, good. this card's gonna get insane. It's kind of your board wipe if you need to, because you're like, cool, those dudes take a lot of damage and I don't need them in play. Yeah, it's a cheap board wipe. Yeah, it's really good. And you get to play it relatively free because it's a mage art. Yeah. So you're like, cool, Just I'll pay one mana and my regalia for that. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Uh, that is it for the deck. The stones are really, really simple. We have Magic Stone of the Hearth's Core, Adaractis Memoria, and Fired Magic Stones because we're playing red. So that's really all you need. Yeah. Especially with your strangers having four. Yeah, red pips. Yeah. You need a lot of red in this deck, so we're mostly just all red. Yep. Uh, the deck seems really fun. I, We found it out when we were building for going to a GP, and we just were like, that would be really funny with Genji, Tension, and Athena. So I wanted to build it and show it, so here we are. Uh, the deck list will be down below. Go check it out, see what you like, see what you don't like, and let us know in the comments down below. We'll see y'all again next time. Goodbye. Later. Also guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Uh, thank you, Dwayne Higgs. And thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.